In this video, we are going to add some more tests for the remaining methods in this class. And the next method that we want to focus on is the day of the week. So for this method, we are going to create a new group called day of week with GB local. And then we can create a group body. And then we are going to copy paste the setup method and the first test from the previous group. And then we are going to adjust the test name to be Monday. And we are going to make sure that we call format dot day of week and that the expectation is the first three letters of Monday, because this is a short format of the day of the week. And then we can run the tests once again. And as we can see, we get a success. Okay, so now that we have this, we could duplicate this group and test, for example, the same method, but with a different locale. So here I could put day of week, but this time with the Italian locale. And here I could change the default locale to IT underscore IT. And then I could change the test description to lunedì, which is the Italian for Monday. And I can change the expectation to LUN, which should be what we expect. So I can run the test one more time. And as we can see, the tests pass for the Italian locale as well. Moving on, we could add some tests for the currency method. So we could add a new group called currency. And this time, for example, with US locale. And then I could add the group body. And in here, I can now set up method. And inside here, I could set intl dot default locale to n underscore us like this. And because in this case, we are not doing date formatting tests, then I don't need to initialize date formatting. So I can go straight on to writing the tests. And just to make my life a bit quicker, I'm going to copy these three tests from the hours group, and I'm going to paste them into here. And then I can update the expectations to ensure that we call format the currency. And here, rather than 10 hours, what we want to print is dollar number 10, like this. And the second test will expect format.currency of zero to be an empty string, because this is how this method is implemented. And finally, we can implement the last test with uh, minus five. And in this case, we expect to see minus and then dollar five, like this. Okay, so we have learned about testing code that does number, date, and currency formatting. And adding more tests at this point would become repetitive because it is just about setting up a locale and writing the correct expectations. So at this stage, I can run all the tests for this file and I can see that they are all green. So we can continue on the next video.